Last year we're hoping for a more disciplined performance to end a run of six matches without a win in all competitions, but faced a Montpellier side with just one loss in six. That sole aberration was a 6-2 humbling by Monaco. The progress in the Cup de la Ligue was followed by a recovery from 2-0 down at Lorient for a point and an impressive 3-1 win over Marseille last weekend. Bastia ended with nine men in the defeat to Lyon, meaning they still miss Jean-Louis Lecca and Yannick Kurzak through suspension, as well as Gael Danik. They started brightly. Keeper Laurent Pernier doing brilliantly to deny Alain Saint. Maxime, teenager on loan from Monaco, hasn't added to the goal he scored in week two, certainly not for a lack of effort. But that was just the appetizer for the opening goal after six minutes. As Bastia celebrated, it became clear none of them had scored the goal. Unfortunately for Enes Skihiri, who was the Montpellier player to knock it into his own net. Enzo Crivelli could have doubled the lead, but was wasteful from a good position. Four in ten since his arrival from Bordeaux on loan. Despite scoring a consolation against Lyon last week, 21-year-old continued to be frustrated, but this time a stunning effort, just the wrong side of the post. Beautiful technique, but not enough curl. Montpellier certainly will feel they were let off the hook, and they could have found themselves level. Morgan Sanson with the effort blocked on the line. Bastia unbeaten at home to Montpellier for 13 years across Ligue 1 and Ligue 2. Only dropped points three times in that period. Francois Ciccolini hoping to end their poor recent form. But Montpellier were to bury a dagger into Bastia's heart ten minutes after the restart. Steve Meunier incredibly scoring for the fourth match running. Beautiful finish from inside the six-yard box after an inviting cross. A free from West Brom, Stefan Sessignon with his free kick. Couldn't score for the first time in French football. This is doing so for Paris Saint-Germain in March 2010. Well, the battle was certainly on for the win. Mehdi Mostefa with a great chance from the edge of the area. Having not scored for a year and a half since his time with Lorient, not surprising he was unable to find the target. Well, the stage was set late on for Saint Maxime. Wonderful effort from the teenager. But left gnawing at his fingers as his great skill wasn't finding an even better finish. Well, a draw a fair result, but no consolation for Bastia as they are out of the bottom three only on goal difference. Montpellier three points further up the table.